take number two because I'm not a strong, independent woman. I had to have my wife help me. <laughs> no, so either way, um, update video, right? We're racing this weekend. It looks like rain for most of the day tomorrow, but we're probably going to roll into the track late, camp out, be ready for Sunday morning, ready to go. Suburban's loaded up, car's ready to go, trailer's backed up right up to the shop, so that way tomorrow we just roll it up, strap it down, and head out. So that was pretty much the goal throughout the week. If you guys saw the video with me making the Remer Fresher pizza, that's because we're making that for uh, better. We're making that for better, so it's for better for the track. So um, I made that, that scoop in an attempt because before the spacers that I had would get knocked off, uh, the engine moves ever so slightly and they get pinched. And So I needed to make that velocity stack. So either way, throughout the week, I went throughout the car, did a bunch of stuff. I actually put an inspection cover on it. I had a slight, slight uh, torque converter seal leak. Uh, so I ended up putting the inspection cover on there and I RTV'd a section of pig mat to the bottom um, just so that it wouldn't leak because... Um, it would leave a couple of drips after I would park it, after driving it uh, the last couple times. But that's not cause for concern for me, I guess. It sounds bad, but either way, it's a little bit of a band-aid for now. It's kind of like the reason why I put the engine diaper on my car. I had a slight leak at the back of the oil pan. Quickest way to fix that, because it's not puking and it hasn't changed, was I put an engine diaper on it. It's lined with pig mats. We're good. So, uh, kind of hackish, but... It's kind of what the diapers are designed for. If you're dripping fluids, it catches them. And if you're engine grenades, it definitely catches you whatever it can. So that was pretty much what we had going on all week. Uh, the 650 Pro Form is already going to do work. I'm going to pop it off tonight. Actually, I found something to do on a night where I wasn't going to do anything. I'm going to pop it off tonight because Eric wants to try it out at the track. He couldn't get it dialed in on his car. I got it dialed in on this motor and it's very similar to his. He's had a little bit of a better intake, um, slightly better cylinder heads. Uh, I think it'll, it'll be probably a little bit better for his. He's got actually one of my old Edelbrocks and I'm putting the regular, my old crusty, yet trusty 1405 is gonna go back on. Uh, and I'm cool with that because I think that's the perfect carburetor for this engine, but for racing purposes, this carburetor works better because it dumps a lot of initial fuel compared to the Edelbrock and then the car really likes it. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. And then after that, a friend of mine wants to borrow it because he's running at IRP, uh, Indianapolis Raceway Park for his divisionals, I believe, and uh, or his local, for their divisional finals, he made it and he's gonna go. So uh, he's gonna borrow it because his carburetor's too big for his 327 from his old 350 olds. Yes, he went to Chevy Power. I know. If, if you knew <laughs> the story behind my buddy's saga, you would have been asking him, why didn't you go to Chevy Power like four engines ago? <laughs> so either way, uh, we got that. We're going to be racing. Um, as much as I would like to, like to screw around at the track and make the car faster, we're going to run it as is. The car has been dead consistent, actually. This event that we're going to, ever since that event, the car has ran the number within five hundredths, five or six hundredths ever since. It hasn't changed a whole lot. Now I know that for bracket racing that's a kind of a big spread, but once we got it dialed in the last two times at the at, at the other drag strip, the car ran within like two or three hundredths. Very close, not bad. Car ran the number. I'm not the greatest driver and this will be the first time I'll be running a class in probably two, three years. Uh, I've been focusing on driving tuning the car, get everything dialed in and now the car is doing everything and I feel like I'm focusing a lot on my, my, my motions between shifting, watching the shift light, not only watching the shift light but there's a certain engine tone you know when to shift and you can just catch it so a little fanatical on my part but um, that's what we got going on and Hopefully we'll have some cool videos for you. I know my wife is definitely going to be running around taking videos and stuff <laughs> as we make runs. Uh, probably taking pictures and shit and doing whatnot. But uh, I want to thank you guys uh, for all the likes. Uh, we got a bunch of new subscribers. Uh, share, like, subscribe. We've got a ton of videos lately working on stuff. This is probably the first update video we've really done in a while. On that Red 64, next Saturday, the game plan is to go out to my buddies, 
work on the car and get it ready, hopefully running under its own power, and then pick a good weekend and we can powwow at the track for a weekend and see how fast we can make the car go with what's there. This is not going to be a max effort to get it to go as fast. This is literally slap the shit together and see how fast it's going to go at this point. I think I've had more fun with this project that the what we originally kind of intended on the car running has kind of become a little bit out of reach just because we really would need a lot more time to fine tune it. But um, I think the fun factor is what really is, is, is the value here is that, you know, a bunch of people came together and people have hooked us up with parts actually throughout the process and uh, it's been fun. So I'm going to leave you guys with the thought of the day. Uh, I kind of made a few people laugh with it today because this is kind of lets you into my mind a little bit. So today I, I picked up my dog from the vet. He had to go to his yearly vet check. Actually not his vet check. They had to clean his dirty ass teeth. He's got to go once a year. And, uh, and on the drive back it's raining. And I see something on the side of the road, and usually, like, you see that and you think, like, oh, this is a memorial for somebody who died. As I get closer and drive by, it's a bucket of KFC. And I'm like, oh, fuck, it's just a bucket of KFC. I thought it was something that, you know, I, I drive that road all the time, so I thought it was something new. And then after I pass it, I'm like, well, maybe it is a memorial for all the chickens that didn't make it across the road. You know, so just remember, if you see a bucket on the side of the road, it might be a memorial for chickens that didn't make it across the road. So on that note, share, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys.